Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this actual Noob to Master series video we're gonna talk about advanced repeaters and if you watched my previous video on repeater filters you heard that I'm gonna cover sorting functionality next and this is exactly what we're gonna do today because if you can imagine if you have a repeater or a table or something like that you might want to do filters which we implemented last time like so but you also might want to implement the sorting functionality which would be dynamic and would resort the rows let's say a to z or by the some sort of how big the value of a number is or so you know so we can go in, in into those depths even but today i want to just introduce the sorting functionality as we are in the repeaters and give you some caveats of how you can use it and implement in your prototypes and in your designs and when user test accordingly Accordingly. If you don't know what repeaters are, you have to go back several videos. So check the link in the description below on a playlist. There's going to be several videos on repeaters. Go back, check it out. Come back later and let's continue. For those who are confident enough, let's crack on and just implement the sorting functionality. And so right off the bat, by what I'm going to need to sort today is probably at least by the name. So I'm going to go ahead and just push that t title a bit above and just insert let's say the you know the label for the table or something like that and I'm gonna just call it let's say name so I'm gonna add another one let's say just just so it's consistent and this is gonna be title and then there's gonna be also team so you know the typical suspects of a big list and now I can go ahead and add the sorting option. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just say on click, down, 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 down to repeater actions, so there's gonna be sorting. You see there is add sort and remove sort. So it's gonna be similar like filters where. However, in this case, we're lucky because we can have only one sorting option or, or you know, one at a time, let's say, because that's the basics of sorting, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add sort, select my repeater, and here you can give it a name if you wish, but you can leave it open and you can see that it allows you to select the column. And let's say we have name, we have role, we have team. Automatically name is pre-selected by default, which is great. And you can sort it as number, text, text case sensitive dates. I would sort it as a text, let's say. And then you can select order, ascending, descending, toggle, it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to go for toggle so that we can switch back and forth. And by default it's ascending and I'm just going to go click OK. And if I preview, you're going to see that every time I click on it, it toggles the list of people by the letters. How great is that? It's A to Z. And as you saw, it allows you to also sort out by, let's say, dates, by numbers. That's very simple type of logic and you know next what you could add as well is the toggle for um, an arrow let's say up or down or something like that so let's say whenever you click on it you have an inversion of an arrow and so I'm, I just have this bad quality chevron as you can see and by default it's not gonna be even visible so I'm gonna hide it but inside I'm just gonna add two states let's say let me just duplicate state 2 and now I have two states, boom, boom, boom. And all I need to do is on click, just add show chevron, boom, boom. And then every time I click, I also can toggle it too. So it's show, showing or hiding, but it's up to you. You can even swap the states if you want to go that deep, but let me show you what I actually exactly mean. So if I click on it, you can see that it's now showing or, or not showing. Let me actually do the hiding. So it's a bit more smarter looking. So like toggle, so I can animate in or out if I wish. But you're gonna see that it's toggling now visibility. Hmm, which I don't really want actually. I just wanna show it, but I also want to do another thing, which is set state chevron. And then you can just say next and wrap it. And then it's gonna continuously loop it. So let me show you what I mean. And this is cosmetic things, but hey, as you can see, boom, 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 boom. And now you just need to match if it's ascending, if, if it's descending. So, you know, your arrow matches. But as you can see, now you have that luxury of 
indicating to the users to actually what's going on. And now if I, let's say I would do the title the same, I could do exactly the same behavior. And all I have to do is really just copy the behavior on click event, copy to the title, boom. And here I just need to select role. I can again select number, text. So Axure has that predefined. You can again toggle, you can select the default, which is ascending or descending. It's up to you. Once that's done, you can just go ahead, preview. You're gonna see that I can sort it by name. I can sort it by title as well. So all the UXers are lining up all the create, but as you can see, there are not many repeating. T might makes more sense to be honest. So I'm just gonna remove really, uh, or actually just let's copy it and paste it. And again, do it for the team as well, like so. And let's see what happens here. Boom, as you can see the team, all the, all the E's, D's, it's all about that. And then you can also sort by name, by title, by team. Now the other bit, which is definitely would want to do is actually, if I introduce arrow, you kind of have to make sure that it aligns throughout the thing and, and, and it's visible every single time. So you might want to also move. So what you can do is you can actually capture coordinates, so to speak, X and Y where it is to begin with. So let's say here is at, uh, 418 and 174 and then if I want to do next it's going to be at a 615 and 173 and lastly and I'm actually noting it down by the way this is a really good habit to do especially if you're prototyping all the pixels and as you can see it's not pixel perfect so I'm arranging it just for a demo really quickly and it's 792 and 173, let's say again. So I'm gonna do that. And now every time I click on this, let's say, before I even show, I could tell it to, hey, move it. So I'm gonna move Chevron and then two, and then just use my coordinates. And then do the same here. Now it doesn't matter where it is, every time I'm gonna click, the sorting is gonna kick in place, title. But as you can see, it's a bit off pixel wise. And it also keeps on flicking, so you might want to select the default state of where it appears. Because here, if I click, it just reverts the direction of it. And so you might want to play again and just add a bit more logic to it. So let's say by default, you don't just show you also add a new interaction or a, a new t action actually set panel state and then you just select it to the state one. And it's as simple as that. So after you move it, you select it to one state, then you show it. And same for this, Chevron to state one and then Chevron to, and at least cosmetically, you're gonna cover the sorting options here. Pretty good. I mean, you can go deeper with that if a cosmetic changes, you could add more options to it. Now, what I want to show you the last bit is the numbers. So just to demonstrate of how we'll see the dates or the numbers would work, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy one of these bits and just call it, let's say, um, staff ID or something like that. You know, that, that could be a possibility. And here, I'm just gonna go back to my data set really quickly and just add another column and as you can see i have so many of them right now but that's okay it's gonna be cid let's say and this is gonna be let's say 23 this is gonna be gonna randomize it and imagine that this is because um most people are in a bigger company or something like that and so they have these ids immediately i would want to also pre-populate it in the repeater projection here so i'm gonna add a new action or actually can just select this text, copy paste, that's the easiest. And here instead of roll, I'm just gonna say ID and I need to select the right target, which I actually forgot to include. So I'm gonna go inside my repeater and just add a new column. Uh, that's kind of like a beginner's mistake, I'll be honest with you. And that's where ID is gonna come. So I'm just gonna do a number and like so and i'm just gonna call it id let's say simple as that so this is how i'm adding new things and 
whenever I load, I really want to not roll. I really want an ID like so. Boom. So now I'm showing the IDs and the remainder thing is really just to selecting the ID, which now appears because we have defined it, select number, and you can again toggle if you want to. I want to toggle, select ascending, descending. And it's simple as that. At the basic level, that's how you sort the repeaters. And let me demonstrate. Boom. So the F1 is this, you know, the closest to zero. This one is the furthest. And so as you can see, it sorts out pretty well. Now the next thing what you can do is to actually assign the chevron to go next to staff ID if you want to align these bad boys because I don't really like that they're clashing with these but I'll leave it up to you it's almost up to you now to define what you want to do how you want to do it if you want to sort it out somehow differently play with the options experiment go deeper with it I really recommend to do that because that's how you are going to learn from your mistakes trials and errors and so forth that's how I learned at least and so I hope it's useful as per usual give a like subscribe to his channel leave a comment down below if you're doing it somehow differently or you have any questions I can answer and I'll see you next time